Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can deploy a Django application on Railway for 100% free. So Railway is basically a deploying service and host, hosting service as well, which deploys your applications in just in very simple steps, uh, including automation for GitHub repositories as well. So we're just going to learn that how we can deploy a Django application from our GitHub repository in just few simple clicks. So let's begin. So first of all, head up to the Railway's official website, railway.com, and create an account, Railway, using GitHub, Google account, or email, as you wish. And we can cre create the account by clicking on this login button. And you can cre create something with GitHub, or you can also create it with Google and just normal email. All right, so after you have created your Railway account, you can head up to the dashboard, which, will, which would look like something like this. So we can create a new project here. And let me just show you what are we going to deploy today this is the test django application inside my github repository which is um, just a simple uh, structure having an application app and we have the test which is the back end of this application and we have a manage.py and then we have a requirements.txt which i have built using the pip freeze command all right so we can now move forward to deploying our railway application so for this just click on create a new project and you have some options right here. So we are just going to deploy it from a GitHub repository. So if you are you have not logged in with GitHub account inside your railway application, then you will not be able to see these two repositories like I am going to see. So for this, you will have to configure the GitHub app by clicking on this button, and then it will prompt you to uh, pass in the username and password for your GitHub account, and then you will be logged in with your GitHub account inside your railway application. All right. So for me, I have logged in inside railway using my github account so i have i am able to see my two repositories right here so for this uh, demonstration we are going to deploy the test django application so i'll just click on this and now it will start the deployment process so currently it does not have any start or build command so it is going to pop some error for us something like uh, we do not have a start command so for this we are going to change the start command and the build command for this so let me just wait for this and let's just wait for this to throw some error for us. So as you can see in the settings, we have uh, no start command and no build command. So we have to edit these commands as uh, for now. So let's just wait for seeing what's happening right here. So for this project, we I think Railway has automatically automatically detected. Detect. So for cut. So for this project, I think Railway has automatically detected that it's a Django project and it has done the basic build and start commands on its own. But if it gives uh, some kind of error for you, you can define uh, start commands on your own, like I'm going to do now. So you have you can click a build command here which can be your build command, something like pip, install hyphen requirements.txt. And you, if you have some static folder, you can also run a correct static function by writing double ampersand, and then you can write python manage.py, uh, collect static, and make sure you, can, you write no input because we do not have access to the CLI for this server right now. And also, if you want to run the migrations, you can also run it right here by running the command python manage.py make migrations after the double ampersands. All right, so for me, I do not have any static files or migrations, so I'll just skip this part and I'll just use the pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. And then for the start command, we can just put something like python manage.py py run server and make sure to run this application on the 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 8000 port not the 127 uh, port because 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 actually enables all the hosts to, to access our Django application. Also, we can set this as the custom start command and this as the custom build command, and this will also deploy our application. So now if I save these uh, commands and apply the changes, it should start the deployment process again, and we'll see uh, how it goes. So it has started the process, and you can see it is starting 
to install the requirements using the command pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. Perfect. And now I think it will attempt to start the application using the command uh, python minus dot p by that server. So let's just wait for this application to go live. All right, so you can see my service is actually active right now. That means my uh, application is running, but we cannot access it on a public IP right now because we have not generated a public IP. So for this, just go to the settings of the project and now uh, you can go inside the, I think you can go in. So to make this cut, all right. So to make this uh, project go live on a public URL, you can head to the settings in the project and then go to the visibility setting and then click on change visibility and paste the project name here. So this now we can actually uh, make this. Now we have actually made this project public. So I think we will be able to access our project with the URL of our project. So let's just see how. We are able to access it. I'll just click here and then we can see the public URL right here. All right, so I, I'll now show you how you can make your application go public with a public URL. So just click on this project right here and then go inside the settings and scroll down till you see public networking. So now we need to create a domain for this. So now we'll click on generate domain right here and now it will generate a domain for us, which will help uh, us to access this application on our browser. So we it has generated this port, uh, this URL right here. And now if I open this URL, I should be able to access a Django application in any browser. So let's just test it out. And perfect. So we have got the sample page here, which is this is a sample Django project, which, is, which was exactly present inside my GitHub repository. So we have successfully deployed our Django application on Railway 400% free. So we basically we get a five dollar worth of free credits, which is a lot when it comes to building hub projects or static websites. So we uh, have this is essentially free for a long time of period. So we have learned how we can deploy a Django application on Railway and that's it for the video. So thanks for watching.